Okay, so the fall season's approaching, and I thought I'd go ahead and do an episode about 10 amazing things about myself, even though there's like hundreds of amazing things about me. These are 10 of my personal favorites, so um, let me just think about it. Thing number one, my hair has the habit of sticking up all the time, like right now, for instance. I don't know what it is, but I guess, like one time I touched this electric ball in class and my hair just stood up all over the place because of the static electricity and everyone in the class had a good laugh about it. Yeah, my hair is just really weird. I, I really try to stop it, but everything I try to do, it just ends up sticking, sticking up again. Thing number two. My favorite book is Don Quixote by Miguel Cervantes. A lot of people think this is probably a difficult read because it's so large, but the book's actually about 400 pages east. There's two different books in here of Don Quixote. So, I mean, if you've read, like, The Hobbit, you can probably read this book. And, you know, um, I guess if I were to say what my favorite film was, it would probably be Return of the King or Casablanca, one of those two. Okay, thing number three should be pretty obvious because of my job at the Fireside Tales. I'm really good at preserving manuscripts. I know a lot about like ancient paperwork, ancient like scrolls and stuff. And I mean, I've read thousands of books too. I've read all kinds of books, mostly about history, true stories. Uh, I'm really into history in other words. Thing number four, I actually have a bit of a liking to spiders. Spiders aren't my favorite animals. My favorite animal is the rabbit. But ever since I had a job where I basically all I did all day was knock cobwebs down from 9 to 5, and there were some other things I did, but it was mostly just knocking cobwebs down, I've grown a deep liking to spiders. I mean, I guess I've just killed so many of them that I've grown a respect for them. I consider them a worthy adversary. I don't like to watch a lot of sports, but I do like to participate in sports. I like to run and lift weights. And if there was one sporting event that I did like, it would be the Olympics. I guess I just like how they're always changing sports. You know, they'll go from like, uh, like running to biking to swimming. Uh, and I just like the adventurous quality of it all. So the Olympics are probably the only sporting event that I'll really watch. Thing number six, I don't like gore in movies. I don't like watching a lot of blood. Um, I actually had this roommate who um, wanted me to watch this Marvel movie, and I was kind of aware already that the movie was going to have some gore, so I was like, is, is the gore really that bad? And he's like, oh no, it's fine, and I just start watching the beginning of the movie, and immediately I just start getting queasy, and I just, I just can't stand it anymore, uh, so. Thing number seven. If I had a superpower, it would probably be levitation. And I realize there would be some problems with that. I'd be levitating objects, and an object would fly and hit me in the head and stuff like that. But the way I see it, that, that works pretty much with any superpower, you know? If, I mean, if you can fly, you might get hit by an airplane. If you can turn invisible, you have to run around naked all the time. But the way I look at it, there's still a lot of good things about the power, too. I mean, it, it could still come in handy. I could make things fly around, and I could scare people, and oh, gosh. And that one won't work. And, well, you know what, let's just keep going. I'm not going to delete that just for the purpose of being a great performer. So I, I would really like levitation. I, I, I could have saved the camera from falling down instead of it falling down and the whole shot being ruined. Thing eight, blue is my favorite color. Thing number nine, I cannot snap my fingers. And, I mean, I just am incapable of it. People have been trying to teach me for years, and I just can't do it. And finally, number 10. My philosophy in life is that anything is possible. And, uh, you know, I have said some pretty crazy things on this show, like the idea that we could actually stop global warming, although I really do believe that we can do that if we just put our minds to it. It's still really a big undertaking, isn't it? And I've also said, like, things like mermaids have landed on the moon. That's a little bit bizarre. But I, I really do, I want people to know that they shouldn't ever say impossible is basically my motto. Don't, don't say something's impossible. Say it's unlikely. It's unlikely that this is true. So I, I guess I just wanted to make people believe, you know, with this show. And also to defend 
the impossible, the nonsense of this world. So I, I guess that's what I'm going to be trying to do with these internet videos. They're not for the views or for money or for fame or anything for like that. I'm actually just doing these videos to prove to the world that they can do anything if they just believe it. Oh, oh, you're all still here. Well, anyways, I just wanted to say that I'm thinking of doing this new show called Seth Talk, and it's basically where I just talk about my life, and we're going to do some, like, kooky stuff, talk about kooky things, like fun facts about the presidents and things like that, eventually, not anytime soon. Oh, and also, I was outside today, and I found this. It's a, it was a little cow, and he was sitting on the post, and, oh, it's raining outside. And apparently he was lost, and I found him. So I got a little ticket here for a um, free chicken sandwich. And I am going to return this ticket, but I'm not returning the cow. I'm just going to keep that for myself. So shh. You know, a lot of food, fast food restaurant mascots are kind of scary, actually, when you, when you stop and think about it. Like, like Colonel Sanders, you know, he's kind of spooky. The this big, long, white beard, and he's killing chickens, and... And you got like Ronald McDonald, he's a clown, you know, probably a pedophile or something. And, and the Burger King guy, now, now he's really scary. Everyone's afraid of him, even if you like Ronald McDonald and all those guys. And, and even the Chick-fil-A guys are kind of scary. They're cows trying to escape being slaughtered. You know, just go, go buy chicken, kill the chickens instead. Yeah, it's very spooky. You can go now.